זהו ערב של בשורה גדולה למיליוני אזרחים בישראל. Calling it great news for the people of Israel, the man rested, ready and waiting in the wings for a third potential stint as Prime Minister reacts to news Monday, Israel's coalition will be disbanded. I will form a broad national government, a government that will take care of you, all the citizens of Israel, a government that will lower taxes, lower prices and will lead to tremendous achievements. Prime Minister Naftali Bennett and his main coalition partner, Foreign Minister Yair Lapid, decided to present a vote to dissolve parliament next week, with Lapid becoming caretaker prime minister until a new election October 25th. The decision wasn't easy, but Lapid thanked Bennett for doing what he says is in Israel's best interest. Even if we're going to elections in a few months, our challenges as a state cannot wait. The Bennett-led government has been struggling for months to keep an unruly eight-party coalition together, facing rebellions which caused the alliance to crumble. Bennett became the first Israeli leader to include an Arab party and lawmakers that support Israel returning to pre-1967 borders and the creation of a Palestinian state on Israeli land. For one year, the people of Israel felt we were like taken hostage by a foreign regime, by a government that's made up and dependent with an Islamist party that say openly that Israel shouldn't exist, that praise terrorists, that murder Jews. I think there's a big relief for everybody in Israel that this government is over. Yair Netanyahu, that was uh, Benjamin Netanyahu's son you just heard from, obviously a lot of different opinions in Israel. Four previous elections, largely a referendum on Benjamin Netanyahu's ability to rule while on trial for corruption. Now, Netanyahu denies doing anything wrong. The trial ended in a deadlock. Polls today show Netanyahu's Likud party will once again emerge as the largest single party. Now, Allison, what's unclear is whether he'll be able to muster a majority in the 120-member Knesset, the support required to form a new government. It's going to be pretty interesting here in Israel from now until October 25th.